Now I remember what I wanted to say. This is my other new plant, the King Vichii. Um, they have these beautiful ribs. It's an anthurium, which I don't think I have any anthuriums yet. This is my first one. Since transitioning it to the choose upon, I've only lost one little yellow, one leaf that's yellowed so far. Um, it had these already when I first got it, these brown things, but when this leaf matures, this is just a small version of him because he came in tissue culture, makes him much more affordable, but you can kind of see the ribbing on this leaf. When they mature, they're long and pendant-like, and um, I would say they have like a ribbing on their, leaf, on their leaves, very corrugated look. Um, so yeah, I'm very, very excited to watch this guy mature. And my other new plant, let me go get him. So yeah, new aeroid, first anthurium. This is my philodendron billetier. And these leaves are also very long and pendant-like. There's a theme to this. <laughs> and they have these orange petioles. And it's also an epiphytic aeroid. And just like the anthurium, this, these leaves, they can get up to four feet long and just be long pendant-like and oh, so beautiful. This one will not have the ribbing, even though these baby ones seem to have something going on. I don't know why they doing all that, but yep. This is the Philodendron Billetier. Like I said, they get huge and outrageous pretty quickly, so I'm very excited about that. And I put him, instead of Luchuza, I put him in Leca, but since he's a smaller plant, I did the little mini, mini Leca beads in a self-watering hydroponic pot. And usually I don't put any fertilizer in the water when I'm transitioning, but something just told me, fertilize it. Um, and now I have a new leaf already coming and it's like been in this pot for two weeks now and seems to really like getting out of that soil. So yes, I haven't lost a single leaf yet. I'm so obsessed. I have a short unboxing video from my Billy Etier that I'll go ahead and play now. So I ordered some of the mini clay liquor balls. Um, thought I'd give that a try. I am so excited about this one. This one is my Philodendron Billy Etier. because I don't know what you can say. I'm making a mess already. Oh my gosh, this plant's bigger than I expected. Oh my gosh. 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 The dopamine is flowing. soil is so dry. Oh my gosh. I can't wait to get take a look at the roots. Let's take a look at the roots now. I already got like a box full of dirt here. Package got delivered while my kids were home and they texted me the same time that I got the notification that it was delivered. So, but the 
package was also delayed. It was supposed to be here last Thursday, got delayed to Friday, and then of course the whole weekend went by. Let's see here. Oh my goodness. Okay, so uh, yeah, a lot of these are dead roots. But I still feel some pretty good ones in there. The soil is so dry, it's easy to knock it off now, so I'm just trying to work as much as I can off before I get it wet. I shouldn't even be, I should have let this plant sit in some sunlight for three days before pulling it out of all of its soil. I should have just watered it. Let it sit for a week on the windowsill, but I'm in too deep now. So this is the final product of the Philodendron Billetier. I have it in Lechuza and some mini Leca. So we're gonna sit it down here and hope for the best. So I have a few new updates I wanted to show you. I put my Florida Beauty on a moss pole. I came home and she was basically just like laying down over her pot. And so put her on a little moss pole, little homemade one. It's an alocasia, Lara Bacchiana. And my new update is that I have four leaves now. Look at that. Can you believe them? Oh my God, I'm obsessed. This new one that's coming out, it's gonna size up, size up even more. And for a while, I could only keep one leaf on this plant. As soon as I get a new one, the old one would die and it's holding in strong. Look at it, oh my gosh. So I guess, you know, I've leveled up the amount of fertilizer that I've used. And so I guess that explains why I have more leaves and bigger leaves as well. So yes, I'm just so obsessed with this plant. I'm obsessed. Oh, I love her so much. Oh my God. Yes, yes, you just keep doing you, girl. Just keep doing it, you are killing it. Can I also just note that the new leaf on my Philodendron Brazil is, one is a half moon, and this one is like all yellow. Kind of looks like the neon poppies, which is kind of interesting. See, look how pretty those flowers are. Some more up there. But anyway, yep, I got um, Florida Beauty that was like laying down over the pot hanging on a moss ball. He needs the support. And my Pink Princess put out a new leaf. So that's really beautiful. Um, this Pink Princess is trying to push out a new leaf. My Propagations have put out New leaves, really pretty. Um, this guy just keeps getting bigger and bigger every day, totally sizing up my squamiferum with a new leaf coming right here. So that's beautiful. A new leaf on the Monstera Deliciosa. Interesting fenestration at the very top here. But these leaves don't actually have those top fenestrations. I got a new leaf coming on this Monstera, this first fenestration it's given me, it's gave me this one and this one so far on that cutting. Oh, I think we're flowering on the begonia. So this is one of my newer plants. It is a Philodendron Billetier, and they have these really long leaves and orange petioles. So I'm very excited and already have a new leaf coming in right here. So it, apparently it really likes these um, small, um, like a beads. So this is my other two little pink princesses. I got a new leaf coming right there. How pretty. These little babies, I can't believe I've kept them alive, but they're pretty happy. I did some chopping up on my galaxy. I have a couple other cuttings sitting over there, but getting a new leaf. So I'm really happy about that. And it looks like it's trying to put out a new leaf on that node. Mm. 
My Amazonica seems to be trying to put out three new leaves. I'm not really sure what it's up to. Focus, please. There it goes. So, yeah, it's doing something. I'm not really sure, but fingers crossed. Really beautiful new leaf on this Florida beauty. What else is new? Oh, three new fawns on this staghorn fern, and I think I'm getting a new base fawn happening there. My tigress is putting out new leaves, like, geez, like once a week. Got another new leaf right there, and a shoot off here and right there. So it's really happy. This is one of my new obliqua cuttings, but not sure if it's rooted yet. I have one in water that's already rooted. This is just gorgeous. I'm gonna chop her up because she looks pretty unruly and put her on a moss pole and watch her size up. Such an important step. Always clean your scissors first. Let me just start by cutting these off. So we can see what we got here. Stick out. Okay, so so far, I know that this entire thing here does not have any leaves. It's just, whoop, it's just, these are kind of dead and it continues, oh my goodness, and it continues all the way down to here with some excellent rootage, may I say. Oh my gosh, these guys are out of control. And it ends at this Y site. So I'm going to cut it about, I tempted to leave this because I do see some nodes trying to happen here. So I'm gonna just do right there. And I'm going to possibly just like maybe stick this behind the bushes in the front yard where it's not going to get direct sunlight and see what happens. I like to do weird stuff like that. Anyway, so that leaves me with, and I did, I broke a lot of these roots off because some of it was dead, some, like, some of it I just didn't need, and so, like, look how long this is. Come on. Okay. So that leaves me with this. These big leaves all the way to here. Now, because I don't want to have a moss pole that starts off like this small at the top and this big at the bottom, I'd rather it get bigger as it goes. I think I'm going to propagate right here where the leaves starts to get a little bit smaller. And yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna go for it. I mean yeah, I do, I love this plant. Okay, so right here, Allie, is that what you want? Now, this is a lot of root for only three leaves. I don't want it to rot. Should keep the fourth one, because it does get a lot smaller there. No, we're gonna, we're just gonna do it. Feeling crazy, okay. So I got these three big leaves with quite a bit of roots. Very happy with that cutting. <laughs> All right, so there's one. Two. producing a leaf yet. I'll leave a top cutting. Maybe it'll stand straight up. Oh my gosh. I'm so in love with this plant. It doesn't look like it because I'm chopping it all up, but oh my gosh, look at all of these cuttings. This 
one has a new leaf coming right there. Can you see that? So, hmm, what to do, what to do. this one piece. I'm gonna leave it one piece. Yep. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna rinse these roots off. Ideally, you want most of your soil off um, so it's not you know, preventing the plant from absorbing any of the water. work with a lot to work with oh my god look at that look at that look at that i just love these okay okay so those are my good rinsed off roots so this is just too much root so we're just gonna do a little that right off. Get rid of that long, ridiculous thing. Put it in there. Simple as that. You don't want to pack it in too tight, but you also don't want it to be too loose because then it won't hold any moisture. There is my moss bowl. Doesn't that look so lovely? Looks so pretty. Oh my god, I can't stop obsessing over you. Ugh. You're gonna be so big and beautiful in no time. No time at all.